Hi, today we are doing the Tunisian lacy full stitch. So we are going to start with our base chain. And this one is a multitude of 2 plus 3 stitches, so we're going to chain 13. And I'm going to go in the back stitch and pick up those stitches like normal. For some reason lights today are a problem. And I have quite a few lights on, so I'm not real sure why. It is not picking up well. I do apologize for that. <clears throat> Boy. Having a time today, aren't I? <laughs> now, regardless of the different stitches with this, this, the return pass, is the normal return pass. Which is that, um, chain one, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I think I just said that wrong. And I am using a worsted weight for this. Okay, so the return pass is as normal. Going to chain one, then yarn over, pull through two, 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 all the way back to the beginning. Now, this lacy full stitch is a two row repeat. And for the first row, well, my yarn is all tangled up today. For the first row, you are going to yarn over, skip this first space, go into the next space, pull up a stitch. Then you will yarn over, skip the next, go into this one, pull up a loop. Yarn over, skip the next, Go into the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over, skip this next one, go into the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, skip the one, go into the next. Then you are going to yarn over, you're going to skip both of these spaces and just go through the two for that neat closing as normal. Pull up your loop chain one. Now the return pass is exactly the same and you should have 13 stitches if you're doing the sample. 13. So yarn over, pull through two, 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 all the way to the beginning or the end. I guess it could be either way, right? Sorry about that, folks. Allergies. Now, as you can see, you have a nice big space right here that almost forms like a bridge. So, for your next 
row you're going to do a Tunisian full stitch in this space here pull up your loop then you will do a Tunisian simple stitch into the next you'll see the big space there again You see that almost like an arch pull up a loop then Tunisian simple and you will repeat that across Now when you get to the end, you will go through that arch again, pull up a loop, then go through the last two for your neat close, chain one. Now I would count my stitches the first couple of times you're doing this, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, then it's yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way to the end. bit of a mess tangle here with my yarn. Okay. Okay. And now you're just going to repeat those two rows. And the first one is we're going to yarn over, go into this space, pull up a loop. Oops, I told you wrong, didn't I? going to yarn over, skip this first one, go into the second space, pull up a loop, yarn over, skip the next, go into this next, pull up a loop, yarn over, skip the next space, go into this next one, yarn over, skip the next stitch, go into the next space for that full stitch, yarn over, skip the next, go into the next space, can you tell I was sewing? Then we will skip these next two and go into this last two like normal for our neat close, then chain one. Now count your stitches again. Two, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two all the way across to the end. I can stay in camera range. I need to tangle a little bit more of my yarn. And then again, we are ready to start the next row. And the next row, again, starts with a full stitch. Into that first space, and as you can tell, there's a big space there, and it's almost like an arch. So you're going to pull up a loop, Tunisian simple stitch, Pull up a loop, Tunisian simple stitch, pull up a loop, Tunisian simple stitch, go through that archway, pull up that loop, Tunisian simple archway, which is basically the full stitch, go through the Tunisian simple stitch, your arch again, and then we are going to go into that in two stitches for our knee close. Pull up a loop, chain one, count your stitches. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way to the end. And that is the lacy full stitch.
Now, you may notice when you're looking at it, it all seems to be slanting a bit this way. And that is fine because once you are finished, you will block it out and it will become straight. Um, now, the shawl that I am doing, I am letting it go the way it is. And then at the very end, I am going to put a border around the lace, um, the shawl itself. Um, for my lacy shawl, I did um, chain 73 stitches. However, I think I should have made that like 43 or 53. Um, it's a little wider than it should be. So, um, yeah. But that is what I'm doing for my lacy shawl. And then most likely, um, when I get finished, I will probably just do a couple of rows of half double crochet around so that it gives a little bit of a border to it um, and helps keep it looking a little straight so it doesn't do that slant. And like I said, that slant is normal. That is the reason Tunisian um, crochet actually curls is because it does create a slanted um, fabric. Alright guys, that is it for today's stitch. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.